Hello students, welcome you all for the session on application form filling for J May 2023. Website that you need to visit is jemain.nta.nic.in. Let's have some basic information first. This year, JWE Main will be in two sessions. Means you are going to have two attempts. First session will be in the month of January, starting from 24th till 31st. Application form filling for this session has already begun and it is till 12th of January 2023. Second session will be in the month of April, 6th to 12th April, for which you need to fill form from 7th of February till 7th of March is the duration mentioned. All BE BTEC aspirants need to take paper 1 of JE May. Duration of the paper is 3 hours. And when you would get your admit card somewhere by 3rd week of January, you will come to know which day you have to take the exam and it would be in which shift. So first shift timing is 9 to 12. Second shift will be 3 to 6. Examination fees. For all boys who are from general, EWS, OBC category is 1000 rupees. For girls, it's 800 rupees for one session. This is the fee. And students who are from SC, ST category or PWD, it's 500 rupees. When you visit the official site, jemain.nta.nic.in, jemain you will come across JE Main 2023 Session 1 application that you could see at the top. So click on it and you will be directed on this registration page. Students who are going to start with the process need to click on New Registration. And when you click on New Registration, you will find that the process will happen in three steps. First part is Registration then application form and the last part would be payment of fees for the exam. You can even download information bulletin from this page. Need to go through the instructions mentioned like to begin with your registration form where you are required to fill in basic details, you need to pre-create your password and when you submit the first registration form, a unique application number will be generated for you. Now using that unique application number and your pre-created password, you can then log in to proceed with your application form. Even when you are going for your second session, that is in the month of April and for which you need to pay your exam fees in the month of February, you will be logging in with the same application number and the password. Means, this is going to be your single application ID. Okay, you don't have to create multiple applications for different sessions. When you are going ahead with application form, you will be required to give your educational details, additional details, and you must keep ready a passport size photograph to be in color or black and white but with 80% of the face clearly seen. It should be with white background and has to be a recent photograph. Okay, So get it scanned. The file size should be between 10 to 200 KB. Okay, The JPG format. Your signature, the file size should be between 4 to 30 KB and students who are from the category need to keep your category certificate ready to be uploaded when you go ahead with your application form filling. After going through all these instructions, you need to click to proceed with your registration. It would first ask you to enter candidate's name, which must be as mentioned in your 10th mark sheet or your passing certificate. Then mention your father's name, mother's name, your date of birth, gender. Now 
type of identification you will find number of options like pan card passport uh, your pass uh, you know bank passbook likewise uh, we generally advise students to use aadhaar as the identification type so for that you will not find aadhaar as an option you need to choose any other valid government identity with photograph so that is what is aadhaar and then enter your aadhaar number as a a uh, valid government identity number of course you have uh, you are free to choose even the identification type as passport or pan but we advise you to go ahead with aadhar then you need to mention your present address if that's the same as your uh, you know permanent address you just go ahead with that and then main part here is uh, when we have to mention your email address and mobile number please note the mail id that you gave and the mobile number that you mentioned should be functional always because now onwards the communication from nta would be on this mail id and on this mobile number for the candidate okay so make sure that you give the mail id and mobile number which is functional okay it will give you once you fill in these details you will be allowed to review the page so go through what information you have filled in is proper and then put a tick against the check boxes that you have checked all these details before you submit registration form once you click on yes you are going to get otp on the mobile number that you have mentioned so once you enter the otp your registration process gets completed what you see on the right hand side top is a application number that gets generated for every candidate so note down that application number note down the pre created password that you have already set in because then with the help of this application number and password you would be then logging in for the application form filling before that you need to also verify your mail id see your mobile gets verified because you already received otp when you go for verification of mail id you are going to get a otp on your mail so enter that click on verify that would complete verification of mail id Okay. Then you have to proceed filling up application form. Now here there are number of pages like your contact details, personal details, your Aadhaar details. Then you need to select examination centers. You need to mention your qualification details. So we will see one by one in steps. to start with your personal details which will get automatically fetched in from your registration page and then the additional details you need to enter okay say something like uh, your nationality you need to enter then your category whether you are a diabetic okay your place of residence whether it is urban or rural what is the annual family income so select the range Uh, what was your mode of preparation so these are all uh, questions you know for the survey purpose now medium of schooling in qualifying examination so that would be definitely english enter security pin to complete this page then it will go for aadhar details so do you have aadhar number i have filled in one sample form so yes your aadhar number which you have already used as an identification type Will get fetched, okay? Your name and the details. Here you have three options. If your Aadhar details are matching with what information you have filled in, okay, you can select the first option. It will validate the details. If it is not, so the second option is my information on Aadhar is not the same as entered in the form. and the third one is if you are not willing to share your aadhar number so based on your choice you need to select one and then go ahead with the form by entering security pin okay 
Next is selecting exam centers. You are going to apply for paper one. That's what we will do. Okay. Medium of paper. Okay. Question paper has to be English. Now you have to select four uh, cities for the state. So for all our students, okay, you are going to select the state of course as Maharashtra and the city preference would be as per where you stay, where your college is. So students who are from Thane, Dombivli, Kalyan would mention the first choice as Thane. Say students who are from Andheri, Borivli, Dadar, Ghatkopar, Chengur would have their first choice of city, Mumbai, Navi Mumbai and second would be Thane, right? Third and fourth option is also mandatory. So based on your choice, you can write, for example, Pune, Nasik, okay? Then additional details about your parents, their occupation, their educational qualification, all those details you need to mention and enter security pin that will complete the qualification details page. Uh, sorry, that will complete the exam details page. And now it will start with qualification details. To start with 10th or equivalent qualification, so you all have passed 10th in the year 2021. Okay, it's a 10th standard qualifying examination and place of schooling most of you is going to be urban type of school which which school you were in so was it a private unaided school or an aided school or was it a government school so just select from the available options qualifying examination state maharashtra from where you had taken the 10th standard exam so for example thani or navi mumbai or mumbai name of the board so for maximum of our students okay, who have passed their standard 10, that is SSC board, so you will be selecting Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education. Result mode. So percentage or percentile on your 10th mark sheet, say for SSC students, it is always in percentage. So when you select percentage, it would ask you to enter total marks. What you see on your mark sheet, mention the total marks, obtained marks, automatically the percentage of marks will be fetched. Roll number which is on your mark sheet, you need to mention that. Then mention your school name and address. Then proceed with 12 standard qualification details. You all would be appearing, that is in the year 2023 for your standard 12. Qualifying exam, you will find number of options when you click on this browse down arrow. So for you all, it's going to be intermediate or two-year pre-university examination conducted by a recognized board or university. Pars is a recognized board, that's Maharashtra State Board, okay? So this option you have to choose. A uh, type of your college, say for example, private unaided. You are taking this examination from Maharashtra, which district it is, whether it is from Mumbai or Thane. Uh, Board name is Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education. Since you are yet to take the exam, so obviously result mode and roll number is not applicable. Uh, enter name of your college and the address. With this you complete with your qualification details and then certain questions like okay are you a twin so give your right answer. Enter the security pin. Go ahead to fill in emergency contact details. So better you mention your parent mobile number and parent mail ID as an uh, you know emergency contact details. Next part is uploading documents. So keep your photograph scanned copy, your signature scanned copy ready as per the size specified. Choose the file, upload it and you could actually view the uploaded document here in this table itself once you upload your documents. Okay. After uploading documents, then the final part is going to be paying the examination fees. So that's going to be the last part. Make sure that when you pay fees, see, paying of examination fees is only in online mode. 
So you can choose option paying it via net banking or say by debit card or credit card. Make sure that the amount gets debited from your account. So once the amount gets debited, okay, you will get the successful submission means a confirmation page will be displayed. Take a printout of that confirmation page means your entire online form filling process is complete. This is a very simple process. It should not take more than you know 30 to 40 minutes provided you have all these documents ready with you. Still, if you come across any query, please feel free to contact any of our centers or even at head office. We are always there to help you. Okay? Don't wait till the last day to fill your form. Also, need not get panic that it has to be done today itself. But keep some days in hand before the final day and complete the process properly because there won't be any correction window available later. Okay, so all the very best. Thank you.